Hello, my friends. I'm Reverend Dr. Juliana Taylor, and I'm going to share a testimony on COVID, on how I was able to bring COVID under my subjection, kick COVID's butt in one day. Amen. Now, by using my divine authority and some knowledge about healing, and I'm going to share it with you because actually it's not just the healing of COVID, it's a teaching, a comprehensive teaching on healing and where you have to go in your mind and authority and wisdom to get healed of anything. Okay, so I'll start with this story. I had a couple of days I didn't feel good <clears throat> and I moved through them as you would if on some days that you're not feeling great. Okay, no problem. The third day, I get my COVID systems because I had COVID before. And I get a headache and I can't taste my foods. The can tasting the foods is not something I would get by having a bad day. So pretty sure now I have COVID. I go and take the test. By this time, it's late in the evening. I go to bed and I make a decision. And that decision is, not this time. Not this time. Because last time I got, I got delivered from COVID, but what happened was it took me a little bit to get my energy back. It was a battlefield. It took me to get my energy back. And I said, not this time, it's not gonna happen. So I made a decision. No, I'm not going there with this COVID thing. This is no different than any other battle, illness, pain, or whatever that I would fight, and I will do it immediately. Amen. No different, because they give it a name, because they give it a test. All these tests, it's no difference in anything that you're battling. And everything that you're battling has a root in several, Always there's always a similar root in one thing that you're being attacked for. And when I say you're being attacked, when you're in the spirit, you have divine health. So something is pulling you down, which is the flesh, amen? Okay, and the flesh has a reason to pull you down. The flesh does not like to see you move ahead. Ooh, hallelujah. Because if you are moving ahead, the flesh is dying daily, amen? <clears throat> so I make a decision. And I look at, you know, what does it have? Inhaling, what, if it's a knee, if it's a back, if it's an illness, if it's cancer, if it's COVID, you got to look at the facts. What does it have? Amen. And what is it taking? Hallelujah. You're looking at really, where's your fear here? Where's your fear? So my fear, my fear was in the headache because that stops me, it blocks me from the computer. If I get a headache looking at the screen, now I can't do certain things that I want to do. I can't do my work, okay? So my writing, so I, that's, that's a fear that I have. And what was the other one? Well, I can't remember it really, that I would lose my memory. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that I wouldn't be able to taste my food. No, I really don't care. So that was a big one. But basically that it was going to drain me, you know, and take my energy and it would take me that week or so to get back into life. So this is what it had. And if you notice, you know, talking about my situation, what it had, this is kind of what it had on the population. Because what did it do? Everything shut down, and it took so long for everybody to recover, whether they had it or not. It was a real pushback, wasn't it? It was just a pushback on life. And I said, you're not taking it. I'm, no, I am moving ahead. So in my mind, the battle became no longer COVID. The battle became, I know what you want. You want to push me back. You want to push me down. You want me to know, move to not move ahead. <laughs> That's your trip, COVID. That's what you've just done to the entire world. And let me tell you something. There is nothing right now. COVID, it's not enough. There's nothing that's going, my mind is made up. Now I make the decision. I am moving ahead, no matter what kind of symptom, no what kind of pain. If I stop breathing, I'm gonna move ahead and stop breathing. 
Amen. I'm going for broke. I made the decision. There's nothing in this world that could stop me right now from moving ahead. Now, did I make this decision in an arrogant way? Did I make this decision in an intellectual way? No, I made this decision by faith, by a revelation, by knowing that I have just been working on a series about moving ahead and not being held back. And I, I'm convinced by revelation from the living God that moving ahead is the heal. Not just the heal of COVID, moving ahead is the heal of your life, of your emotions, of your heart, because that's what it has all holding you back. Everything that holds you back in the flesh will make you sick, will keep you down, will oppress you, will oppress all your feelings until you are sick. COVID or something else, it doesn't matter. Amen. So my decision is, I'm not fighting it in a little bit. What does it have? I'm fighting it for the big picture. The big picture is your trip, COVID, is to hold the world back. And I'm on to you. And I know it's a lie. And I know a lot of people bought the lie. And you've destroyed lives. You've even killed some over this COVID thing. Amen. And I'm going to fight you right where you live, COVID. I know what you want. And you're not getting it. I'm not being held back. There is nothing I'm not going to do that I would do. That was my decision. You know, when you make a decision in the spirit, it's very strong. When you make a, a decision in the spirit, principalities, you can call them, generational principalities, all my belief system, all my mindsets, all my repressed angers, all my repressed feelings, everything that, I've blo that has blocked me up to this point, every doubt, every fear that I have, understands a spiritual decision has power because it has purpose. And right now, COVID, it is my purpose to move ahead. And you're going to have to kill me to take my purpose. That's it. That's where I was before I came into this with you. And that's where we're going. And that's the heel of you. And I know it. I feel it. I know I have it. Amen? Okay. So now, that day, I, it's fighting me with all it has. I'm getting moving with the headache. No energy. <laughs> but I know, beyond any shadow of a doubt, all I have to do is move ahead. Because I have seen it now for weeks. I have seen it that all we have to do is move ahead. That that problem in your marriage, all you have to do, don't, don't, don't give it that. Don't focus on it. Don't make it the big deal. Make the deal that flesh, I'm looking at you trying to take something from me, trying to not have me have clarity over something, try to keep, keep me in a people mind spin, trying to keep me focused on this and that and the other thing. But you know what? <laughs> I'm moving ahead. You see, a moving ahead will clarify that situation because moving ahead has faith in it. Moving ahead has faith in it. Moving ahead has purpose in it. And moving ahead is what the flesh doesn't want you to do. Are you hearing me? Because if you move out of the mind jam, you're going to see what's up. If you move out of the mind jam, your, your mind is going into the next new moment of God. Your heart is, 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 is created to go into the next new moment of God. And you're going to get the revelation. And the flesh doesn't want that either. You're going to get how you get a revelation. All right? Because grace is the next new moment of God. You're letting go, letting go of everything. The next new moment of God is letting go of the situation, letting go of the COVID, letting go of the marriage, letting go of the job, letting go of the finances, letting go of the argument, letting go of what's upsetting you, letting go of the worry, the doubt, the whole thing, letting it go and walking by faith with no thought, with nothing but hope and expectancy and faith and knowledge. Knowledge that it may not look good right now, but that walk, if I keep doing that walk and don't look back, man, that's my here. That's my promotion. That's my tenacity. That is building and resurrecting my spirit. I'm supposed to be here right now, moving ahead. Even if I don't know what it is, start moving ahead. You see, it's going to open the space. It's going to stop the mind block. It's going to open your heart because your heart knows it's being deceived in a carnal con job. Hear me. Hear me. Because if you're in the flesh, you're in a carnal con job. 
Well, what do you mean by that, Rebel Judy, Reverend Juliana? I mean what you're believing isn't true. Amen. Sometimes we just got to say, hey, I'm in the flesh. Anything I believe at this point, I'm being deceived. Hallelujah. I'm not in joy. I'm not in spirit. I'm suffering. Mm, I'll let go. It's not the truth. Are you hearing me? It's just not the truth. Amen. There's no purpose here at this point, praying for three days, fasting. There's No, no. It doesn't matter anymore. All you got to do is move ahead. Because that could be, I've been in that. I've been in the stumbling block of works. Another, you know, few days of holding you back. And then you're discouraged because God didn't meet you. No, no, God met you all the way. God is here now. The only thing we're doing that could stop the revelation and what we want from God is we're shut down to it. It's actually here. Amen. Your healing of whatever, your clarity, your revelation is here now. Well, why, why don't I have? Because the heart is shut from your not moving ahead and taking care of yourself in different situations that you're not seeing now because you're stuck in the problem du jour and what it looks like now, okay? And what it is now is it's holding you back from destiny, from promise, from revelation, from good health, from joy, from the resurrection of your spirit, which is to move ahead by faith. Okay. I uh, go on uh, with everything that I'm going to do. I work out. I do my book. Give me the headache. I don't really care. You know, what I care about is that God is resurrecting me by faith, and I'm moving ahead. And if I let every wind that comes and every leaf that falls from a tree stop me from moving ahead and every argument with every person and their thing and let's work it out and the blah, 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 stop me from my move ahead, then I have no move ahead. Amen. And how many times in life has that happened to you? That something becomes more important than your move ahead. We are being emotionally deceived. Amen. To bow to situations. It's a carnal con job, beloved. Okay, that's all it is. It's a condemnation consciousness. It's a limitation. What is a limitation? A limitation is it an, a, you're, an unentitlement. It's a limitation. You're not entitled to that thing. It's a condemnation consciousness. Am I not entitled to divine health? Hallelujah. You see? It's a condemnation consciousness. You're not seeing it right if you're accepting it. Now, if you want to see it and say, well, then I'm healed and go and sprout that all day, you're still not moving ahead. You see, you're in the flesh. The flesh is giving you an affirmation or a scripture. I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed. But you're not experience, experiencing the healing because actually you're focused on trying to make it happen. Amen. Instead of focusing on the resurrection and focusing on the moving ahead and the focusing on taking your territory where you're going to grow and transform, which is the will of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, so I do that. I move on in every conceivable way. I move on with a fierceness. Amen. I'm enjoying it now because I'm in the battle. I'm not some victim. Oh, we'll go sniffing here the whole thing. No, no, no. By the end of the day, the sniffing, the cough, the headache, the lethargy, the pain. What else do I get? Oh, and my taste for food totally returned. Amen. Now, isn't this interesting? It's fascinating. I didn't do anything. I didn't even take a vitamin C. I just took a stand. I took a stand in that I knew, I knew beyond any shadow of a doubt that that's what it had. Are you hearing this? I knew that's what it had because it did it to the whole world and it did it to me last time. I wasn't healed in a day. I mean, I had lingering energetic, alleged energetic, you know, sensitivities, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I bought the carnal con job. I could have bought another kind of carnal con job. I could have bought the carnal con job all over again. I knew if I went and lied down in that bed and tried to recover, I was buying it and I was getting stuck and I wasn't moving ahead. Amen. No, this gets interesting. So the next day, I go back. I don't have any symptoms. I want to take the test because you were just here. He <laughs> said, You didn't think the test was accurate? I said, you know, give me the test. <laughs> anyway, the test, of course, was negative. Now, this gets really interesting. And now I'm good. Yeah, I'm moving ahead. I'm high. Now, a couple of days later, it's, of course, it's trying to come back. It's trying to come back. But it's trying to come back 
with the same kind of stuff to stop me from moving ahead, but I know I don't have COVID anymore, amen. This is my point. That's what it has. It has that it wants to stop you. It'll give you another con job. Well, you know, it's viral, so you're still sensitive. Even though it's negative, it lingers in the system a few days, blah, blah, blah. The carnal mind has, has more rationalizations, more self-justifications why you're having a bad day than you could ever imagine. It makes it up as it goes along. Amen? You ever meet somebody who's a pathological liar and they kind of make it up as they go along? That's your carnal mind. <laughs> Amen? It's just continuously giving you a con job. There's no truth in it. Your weapon for life is to make a decision that you're going to move ahead every day. You're going to move ahead in your purpose. You're going to move ahead, not push yourself through the day. That's not moving ahead. Not push yourself by faith. That's not faith. Faith is you are going to move ahead by force. The kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent shall take it by force. I call it violent faith because that's what it is. It's a mindset. It's a mindset that that is the heel of everything. That is the will of God. You know, Paul said it like this. Paul, who went through a lot, he went through everything, okay? Not just a bad COVID day, I mean, beatings, everything. He, he was through it all, amen? And he said, one thing I've apprehended. I mean, from all this, he's talking about the biggie. One thing I've apprehended. I press on to the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Wow! He moves ahead. <laughs> Same place. And I don't look back. <coughs> Doesn't like it. <coughs> Here's a perfect example <coughs> of a carnal retaliation. Didn't like it. Didn't like Paul, doesn't like me, and it doesn't like you. But Jesus loves us. Amen. I love you. Don't accept it. Don't accept the coughs. Don't accept the not moving ahead. And don't accept the carnal con job. Hallelujah.